Sessions. My name is Parvata and I make book related videos to help you pick your next favorite read. Follow me on Instagram and Pinterest for more nerdy stuff. Let's nerd together! The heat has finally gone down to some extent and it rained so beautifully for the past couple of days. I wish it keeps on going instead of us getting back into that dry spell because the city where I live in does not get a lot of rain so I'm really glad to see rainfall. Today I'm going to talk about a book that was my most anticipated release of 2020. I ordered it way back in October of 2020 but it was delivered to me in March 2021. Unfortunately I could not read it because I wasn't in my city, I was back in my hometown, and my neighbor very kindly picked the delivery for me. But finally, finally, I got to read this book in the month of June, and I have a lot of thoughts about it. I've already seen the thumbnail, but the book that I'm talking about is The Invisible Life of Adil Bazou by V. E. Schwab. V. Schwab is one of my most favorite authors and I have loved every single word that she has come out with so far. But did this book meet the expectations? We'll see by the end of this video. Don't worry if you have not read this novel, I'm not going to spoil it for you because all of my reviews are almost always spoiler free and whenever there is a spoiler in my review, I am going to tell you that explicitly. So you can watch this video risk-free. And I definitely don't mean to influence your views about this novel, but I'm just going to give you a few pointers. If you've read this book, so maybe you might find something common. And if you have not read this book, then maybe I can help you make a decision about it. Let's get on with the review. So the book is nicely placed here, I'm not going to keep holding it. It's the Invisible Life of Adi Lavu is adult magical fiction revolving around a woman called Adeline or Adi for short. The story moves from different timelines starting from the 18th century to the 21st century. The story is written in dual perspective. In order to escape a forced marriage sort of situation, which was really common back in those days, Addie strikes a deal with the devil. The devil grants her wish to live forever, but there's a catch. Nobody, nobody who meets Addie can remember her. Subsequently, the story follows Addie's life as she struggles with her gift, as she struggles to live forever and forever through these centuries when nobody remembers her until she meets a person, a boy called Henry, who remembers her. Addie makes for an interesting protagonist. Her plight, her desire for freedom, and the choices she makes is very understandable. In fact, I empathize with her why she would want to get away from everything and live her life the way she wants to. It should be her choice. So I found Addie a very enduring protagonist to read about. And also she is tough, she never gives up, and she is really stubborn. Considering that she has lived through so many time periods where there was war and where it was so difficult to live as a woman, she survived, she struggled, and I totally enjoyed reading about her struggles all through the different time periods. The story is written in dual perspective, and the second perspective is of Henry, the boy who remembers Addie. Now here is where my problem starts because I was enjoying the story as far as Addie was the sole narrator. I love seeing her journey but Henry as a main character did not seem as engaging to me. He was sort of a cardboard cutout of so many adult males we see in many of the stories. He was also bland. 
in a lot of cases and I could not empathize with him. I did not understand his struggles. But, and also the mysteries relating to him weren't as mysterious to me. I could predict what his problem was and why he would have done something. So, sort of a bland character. Also, the relationship between him and Addy was out of need, I feel. It wasn't something that came from within, but I also understand that Addy especially is a person who has been forgotten by everybody, nobody can remember her. On some grounds, I understand the reason behind this relationship. The third main character who has made an appearance all through the story is the devil himself, Luce, I suppose, or Lu, L-U-C, I don't know how to pronounce it. So Luce as a character who's quite interesting to read about, of course, and, and I do wish the author had chosen to write about his perspective rather than Henry's, but perhaps the demands of the story is who am I to comment on what should be written or which character should get more highlight in the story. It's totally the author's prerogative. But I would have liked to see more of Luz and what goes into his mind and why he's so into Addy in so many ways. After all, he grants Addy's wish for living forever. And why does he do that? I would have liked to know more about the way he makes decisions. But his interaction with Addy was quite fun to read. Reading his conversation with Addy was one of the highlights of the entire story. The rest of the minor characters don't hold much of a ground. They come and do what they're supposed to. Perhaps there were a few interesting characters and if we had gotten to know them more, I would have felt something, but right now I'm just pretty mellow about them. Schwab's writing as usual is very engrossing and engaging and I just could not stop reading once I started. Her writing has a flair, that easy way, the charming way that is very very simple for you to absorb, very simple for you to follow and no matter what she writes about it's always a fun fun what I couldn't digest about the story was the lack of diversity and the lack of experiences that Addie has, considering that she has lived on for years and centuries, but the exploration that she has is very limited to Europe and America and is very white-centric. She does not meet a lot of people of color. She does not take the risk of exploring places that she could have. I mean, come on, you have been living for hundreds of years and you could not find the chance to go explore Asian countries and meet all kinds of people. And how could you not? This is one of my major, major problems this story. It's not inclusive, it's not great when it comes to world building and if she had missed out stating the years and everything, I might have just totally not noticed which century she is in. I would just think that all the story happened in one year, one go, in just that white centric European world. So, considering the kind of character that Addy is, adventurous, somebody who takes risks, somebody who is fearsome, who is stubborn, I would have expected that she would venture out more into the world. You're born in France and you go to Italy, you go to Paris, then you go to the US, but you don't go to Asia. You don't go and see Arabic nations. You don't meet people of color, except for that one black woman that you met. Um, does not make sense. And quite honestly, at this point, in this day and age, 
there is no excuse for an author to not include more variety, more diversity in their stories because you have Google, you will have so many books, you have so many resources, you are so exposed to the world around and out of your own place or country. That it's hard for me to imagine why an author would choose to not include so many elements would not include other countries and other people of different diversity of different backgrounds in her story and in a story like this i think this point was really not explored and very very underwhelming at one point i was reading the book only because i wanted to finish it it's a Schwab novel and I cannot leave it right in the middle and of course writing is flawless as always but it dragged on and on and on and I wanted something to happen a lot happened in the first half and then nothing in the middle and I was just reading from one repetitive scene to the other again I don't want to suggest that the author should have written the story the way I wanted it to be written but I do wish that the author had done a little bit more research maybe although this is supposed to be her lifetime's work this book took a decade in making and I admire the author for coming up with such a concept and writing this beautifully set aside the few missing elements all in all i truly love the concept a1 concept the writing the storytelling ability of the author the character addy herself was very lovely and endearing to read about and i do understand why so many people love this novel so very much unfortunately it wasn't the best of schwab's work for me in terms of the narrative and world building because i feel a lot of things were undercooked and underexplored. whenever i'm reading a schwab novel i expect rich world building and diverse cast of characters which was missing in this novel yes the writing is beautiful but nothing except for the concept stands out for me in this one unfortunately would I recommend this book to you? Sure, definitely go ahead. Especially if you've never read a Schwab novel, you might find this story absolutely mind-blowing. Maybe I went with a different set of expectations because this is an author known to me and whenever I read a novel uh, by her, I want something in return. I expect to get those things which I did not find in this one. But that is no reason for you to not read this novel because it's a pleasure in itself. It's a kind of an adventure and a kind of slow burning, hot chocolate drinking sort of experience. So definitely give this a try. And if you agree with my pointers, if you agree with the things that I have stated if you choose to skip this book i would not blame you that's it for the review of the invisible life of abby buck Wu by we e schwab i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you've read this novel or if you plan to read it in the future and what do you think of this entire review do you agree with me do you disagree let's have a discussion subscribe to this channel hit like button and hit that bell icon so that you will be notified whenever i post a new video i'm also very very thankful to the commentators who are very regular here who did not forget me even when i took that unexpected break of two months thank you all for commenting on my videos for being a regular for watching me, for praising whatever I do. Thank you, thank you. And that's it guys, I will see you all in the next video.
Till then, take care. Stay safe.